Welcome back to the Engineer Angler. I'm back in the shop in my paint booth actually. I'm kind of reviewing the contraptions that I use to uh, hold my lures while I paint them and finish them. Um, and I, you know, I've gone through a lot of iterations. Uh, I've modified a few things. Uh, I make things specifically for particular purposes. So I, I have a, a lot of techniques and I noticed watching all you other lure makers and lure painters that most of you use this uh, helping hands sort of solder station that holds things for soldering and gluing and that kind of thing. Um, and I noticed there's not a whole lot of modifications to the ones I see out there. Uh, I made an early modification to this one uh, where I uh, added these extension arms. These really made a big difference. So you'll notice that all it is is the handle, a plastic handle from a cheap uh, paintbrush. All I did was crimp it into this alligator clip and then it just goes in to the set screw on the actual uh, stand. It's real simple, these things are really cheap. Uh, all I did was cut the end off, put it on here, and you can see it gives you this nice flexi extension. It not only makes it so that you can hold a, a slightly larger lure, but it gives you that, that tension to hold the lure a little more snugly so that when you're setting the lure up, you can actually put a little tension in it and it holds it nice and snug. Now, uh, a, a more recent addition is this little platform. Since I've been making bigger lures on the lathe, I needed something that wouldn't flop, well, flop over at all. And that base actually makes it really, really stable. And all it is is one of these cover plates for a circular receptacle, electrical receptacle. And I think I paid maybe 80 cents for this thing. I noticed plenty of you guys use this thing, and this is what it looks like when it comes out of the box. They, they come pretty nicely prepared, actually. They have these nice articulated joints that, are, uh, that you can tension and put a little extra friction on. They come with this handy little magnifying glass uh, that I take off immediately because I don't use it. And it's articulated at the bottom, too, so you can actually do quite a bit of turning, spinning. So let me show you how I prep these so they're actually useful for painting. First thing I do is take this doggone thing off. Don't really need it. Take one of the alligator clip connections off and remove this, the central holder for the magnifying glass. At this point, you reassemble that end. But what I, what I like to do is make sure this center set screw is nice and snug. I want it in the middle so that it doesn't end up sliding around on me or turning when I don't want it to turn. I do like to set this tighter than normal so it doesn't move easily. I want it barely to move. Let me put this alligator clip back on. Okay, so now with the alligator clip back on, it's a little, it's a little cleaner. Uh, but really, I wanted to make this even a little more user-friendly than this. One of the limited features of having this this way, although I really like it and I use it a lot, is if, when you paint the belly, you gotta kinda get out of position. You're either picking it up or you gotta rotate it way over. And that's where this base really helps a lot. You can rotate it way over and then rotate it the other way and paint that side. It's still a little bit of a, eh, a little bit of a, a, a hassle having to do that. So I wanted to come up with something uh, even more versatile, uh, a little more user friendly. I wanted to be able to manipulate the lure with one hand and paint with the other. So, let me show you what I came up with.
Okay, so here's the latest addition. Let's uh, finish the installation. I'll put a little bit of a dollop of hot glue. Hot glue it. Doesn't take much. And here it is. Not too bad. You can tension it still and then paint whatever you like. So you can rotate it from either side, whether you're left handed or right handed. So, one step closer to making it one step easier. Anyway, hope you like this. Hope it's useful to you. Give it a shot. It's a breeze to make. Thanks for watching. Remember, share this stuff with your friends, especially your lure maker friends and the lure painters. I'm wide open to suggestions. If you've got an issue that you're trying to solve with your painting setup or the way you make lures, the way you finish lures, uh, let me know. It might be something I already solved or it might be something that I'm having trouble with too and, and maybe we exchange ideas. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Comment and like and share the hell out of this. <laughs> thanks, I'll catch you on the next one.